What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation Store on the PS3 because just a few days ago, Sony announced that they're officially discontinuing the PlayStation Store on the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita. Now the PS3 and PSP versions of the PlayStation Store will be uh, discontinued in early July of 2021 and then August for the PS Vita. And for all you guys watching this years into the future, I'm filming this in March 2021, so uh, just in case you wanted to know. But yeah, we're basically just going to scroll through the PlayStation Store uh, see what's up and kind of just get a last glimpse at it before it's officially gone forever now before we log on to the PlayStation Store I'm going to show you some of the details of the system just kind of like what firmware it's on and stuff like that so so system settings and then system information so we're on software version 4.87 so you know a few years down the road who knows what version will be on um, or if they'll even update it anymore at all they probably won't to be honest uh, just because they're discontinuing the PlayStation Store uh, so 4.87 and just so you guys can see the network speeds of this you know day and age let's take a look at that real quick all right guys so we got 39 down and 10 up which is definitely not on par with my isp uh, which is one gig up and one gig down uh, so obviously the ps3 can't take advantage of that just wanted to show you the guys this in case you're watching this in like 2025 or something i mean we probably have like you know 10 gig speeds by then uh, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and take a look at this PlayStation Store. So, uh, Sony actually has a PlayStation Network tab, so you can see your account management. Uh, you can see what's new, which I would assume uh, would be new games and stuff. You got Trophy Collection, PlayStation Store. So let's just go ahead and get into it, click on the PlayStation Store. So, uh, just some details, it says free to access, only place to download new and exclusive PS3 games, playable demos, add-on packs, and high definition videos. Uh, so one thing that stands out to me is free playable demos. I remember the PS3 and 360, those were in the days when you could actually download demos for like all the games. That was that was huge. I was a, in this generation of the consoles, I was a 360 player. That was the first console I had um, in this generation. And you know, I played demos for days. You know, I was a kid, I couldn't afford games all the time, so I would just download demos and play them all the time. Um, you know, they still have demos nowadays, but definitely not as many as they used to have. So here's the PlayStation Store. It looks very similar to the one on the PS4, PS5, if you've ever seen those. But let's just start from the top. So we got Best of PS3. So again, we're filming this in March 2021. Let's see what we got right now. So we got Best of Saints Row, Best of Sonic, Best of 2K. And for some reason, it's repeating itself. I guess that just kind of shows you the attention to detail that Sony, or the lack of attention to detail Sony has on the PS3 um, PlayStation Store right now. Best of Saints Row, Best of Sonic, Best of 2K, and then it starts repeating itself. And it goes to Best best of Capcom and a few other categories. Best Games with Style, Best of Timeless Heroes, Best of Challengers. And it shows a picture of Messi from like eight years ago. That's wild. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah, FIFA 15, Madden L NFL 15. All right, guys, so FIFA 15 is still $15 digitally. That's wild. NHL 15 and Madden 15, I guess, can't even be purchased. You get Modern Warfare 3 for $30. Wow. So some pretty poor prices. And kind of just, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about it. You know, this is this is one of the regions, reasons why digital, all digital is kind of a concern to me. Um, you know, we're looking on the PS3 and they're discontinuing the store. And you know, the concern is 10 or 15 down, years down the road, Will they just, uh, you know, delete the Xbox store off the Xbox Series S and you can't download the games anymore and you pretty much just have what you have. Um, another question for the PS3, I don't know if this has been answered yet, but can you re-download games that you own digitally on the PS3 even after the store is gone? I'm not sure, but that's just some of the digital questions. It's, it's you know, it's why a lot of people are questioning the whole all digital thing and I agree. Um, and now they're even trying to sell you a PS4. <laughs> So that it you upgrade from your uh, PS3. So, I honestly, I don't even know if you can buy that. Like, I know they still sell PS4s, but I haven't seen a new PS4 in a while. I don't know if they still sell new PS4s. I would assume so. They do in, in little bits, but I know their main focus is on the PS5, obviously. Um, by the time you're watching this, it might be the PS6. Who knows? So, yeah, just for you, got Minecraft PS3 Edition. To be honest, I've never even played this on... Oh, it's just, it's best-selling games. Best-selling PS4. So best-selling PS4 games, and it's showing it to me on the PS3. That's a little bit questionable. I, I Again, that shows a lack of attention that <laughs> Sony has paid uh, to this console. So 
Minecraft, GTA 5, Mass Effect, God of War Collection, Most Wanted, Last of Us. Oh, you can actually get GTA San Andreas, PS2, Jack and Dexter Collection. Ten dollars, doesn't seem too bad. But what is this thumbnail right here? This, this graphic is terrible. They could have picked a better graphic so that you could actually read it. Same with God of War, that looks bad as well. Man. They really just don't care about it anymore. No wonder they're shutting it down. You got The Last of Us, $10 add-ons and stuff. I'm sure I'm gonna find a, a game somewhere in here that's just like a wild price. I still don't know why, a new PS4 games. This, dude, this is a PS3, not a PS4. It's just like a copy and paste from the PS4, I guess. And of course, they wanna sell you PS Plus, which is 60 bucks per year. Um, what else we got? Time Trials, what is that? Oh, that's interesting. So if you have PS Plus, you can, these are some of the demos you can download, except they're not, it's not just a demo, it's a time trial, so you can only play it for a certain amount of time, which I guess is better than nothing, but still kind of lame. I'm a big fan of when they actually had full demos. Um, there were some games when I would go and just play the demo, just because, like I said earlier, I couldn't afford the games. So I would just play the demo forever. So here's just straight up games, popular games, Apparently there are no deals right now. That's kind of sad. You would think that if they're shutting down the PlayStation Store on the PS3, there would actually be some deals, but maybe not. All right, so we got all games. I wonder if we can sort this by low price. Probably some free games. Yeah, a bunch of free games. You know, it'd be even more interesting is the most expensive game. I'm sure there's some game on here that's still 60 bucks, but let's see. Oh, we got Assassin's Creed, a package of Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation and just the regular, I guess it's uh, I guess it's just Assassin's Creed 3 plus an add-on for $90. Are you, are you joking? That's crazy. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Digital Pro Edition, $90. Persona 5, 85. A combo of Black Ops and Black Ops 2 is $80? No way, dude. What? It comes with a map pack, but still, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> Borderlands 2 Ultimate Edition is $80. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 with the Season Pass is $80. Dude, this game came out in 2013, and they're selling it digitally for $80. That's wild. I can't believe that. Dude, these, these guys probably don't even know they're selling it for that much. Oh, this is even better. NBA 2K18 for $60. I can guarantee you can go on eBay and buy this game for three bucks. Probably including shipping. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised because it's pretty obvious they haven't paid attention to the uh, to the store in a while. Um, but it's just crazy all these old games that are so expensive. Far Cry 4 for $50. Like most of these games I'm scrolling through. At least the ones that I know about, you can buy on eBay for like less than 10 bucks. But again, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, there is a reason they're, they are getting rid of the PlayStation Store, you know. Clearly, they can't keep up, keep up with it. We got add-ons, which are not even loading. <laughs> That's nice. I'll be interested to see what apps they have on here. They actually have a GoPro app on the PS3. That's interesting. All the other pretty standard stuff. Grand Theft Auto, iFruit. Oh, that's funny. Pretty standard stuff, Netflix. And now that I think about it, I'm not sure if they're discontinuing the entire PlayStation Online experience for the PS3 or if it's just the store. Um, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to still be able to still log in and like send people messages and have parties and play online for games that are still online. Um, but here are some free games. So Run Sackboy Run is free. Not too many free games. I want to check out these demos though. Like I've said like three times, demos were awesome back in the day. Super Mega Baseball demo. <laughs> they say demo in here, but they say it costs money. I'm assuming that there it is, try free demo. Man, the one thing is this PlayStation Store is super slow. Again, I'm not surprised that it's slow, but it is. 
Tennis in the face. Okay. I think I've heard of that before, but it's still crazy. Yeah, and the, the other crazy thing is this is going to affect a lot of indie developers since they're, yeah, as you guys can see, there's a lot of indie games on the PS3 store, so, you know, obviously they don't sell those physically, so that, they're going to lose some revenue there, unfortunately. Toy Box Turbos, Lego Batman, NHL 15. I wonder if you can still get the uh, demo for this. It's clearly not available for... Yeah, there's nothing available here. I don't know why they still show it if you can't download it. Very interesting. PS Music, what is this? Oh, it's just Spotify. View downloads. Oh, let's we'll see what I've purchased on here. <laughs> is this, I guess this is just PS3 stuff. I haven't downloaded PS3 stuff in a long time, so. These are probably just free PS Plus games from back in the day. <laughs> Pez 2014, Tomb Raider. Remember me, I don't know what that is. Castle of Illusion, Borderlands 2, NBA 2K14. Oh, it's funny. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if I'll be able to download these games after they close down the store, if I have to, or if I have to download all these right now. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of these are just from PS Plus, and I just downloaded them when, when they were free. Oh, and they're, they're not even all PS. Uh, PS3 games. Some of them are PS Vita and some of them are PS4. So it just shows everything. My videos, I don't think I have any videos unless they were free at some point. Better call Saul Ridiculousness and Adventure Time. Alright, not much. What else? Redeem codes, payment methods, and yeah, I mean, that's the whole store. Um, you know, Nothing special, it is kind of funny to see how many games are still selling for $80, $90, it's kind of wild. You even got NBA 2K18 selling for $50, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting Interesting to see all this stuff. Um, for all you guys watching in like 2024, 2025, hope this uh, brings back some memories. <laughs> I wonder if PS Plus is twice the price by the time you guys are watching this, probably is. You know, everything increases in price. And yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised they're, they're discontinuing the store. It was pretty clear that they don't keep it updated, um, especially when you see all the old games that were still still cost sixty dollars or more. Um, and yeah, kind of interested to see what's on this what's new page. Apparently, oh, this is something I played played recently. Got our pick themes. I wonder if you got any good themes still left. I don't remember seeing themes when I scrolled through the PlayStation Store the first time, but let's let's see what it loads up. So here we are on the theme store for the PS3 and PS Vita. Clearly, have a lot of themes. Some of them are some of them are free. Some of them cost money. I don't think I've ever actually paid for money for a theme, but you know I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, tons of themes. I'm sure you could scroll through this for days. PlayStation Store 10th anniversary. I feel like a downloaded something similar to this on the PS4. It might have actually just been the 20th anniversary of PlayStation General in general. Before they remove the uh, PlayStation Store, they should just make all these themes like free or really cheap. What is this? The downloading theme? <laughs> that actually looks pretty funny. I guess it's just a loading bar in the background, but it costs $3. Oh, it's just some random developer that made it. Disruptive Media Publishers. <laughs> the download eventually and get this theme <laughs> that's kind of funny but I can't imagine how many people bought it for three bucks it only has a one star rating so it must not work very well please stand by theme on the PS Vita all these are PS Vita themes which is kind of tricky when you're scrolling through on the PS3 and it shows you a, a PS Vita theme you might actually accidentally buy one for the PS Vita when you're trying to buy one for the PS3 but uh but oh well all right, guys, there you go. We checked out the What's New tab, checked out the PlayStation Store, and, you know, kind of disappointing they're discontinuing the PlayStation Store, but, you know, it's bound to happen eventually. Um, the main concern is what happens to your digital games. Can you still download them in the future? Um, and that sort of thing. A little bit concerning, but I guess we'll figure it out. Sony will figure it out. And if it's if it's too bad of a policy, I'm sure there'll be outrage. So um, I guess we'll, we'll keep tabs on that. 
All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching this video a few years down the road, I hope it brings back some memories. I know it will for me. Um, you know, it's just one of those nostalgic things. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.